War. War never changes. Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're visiting again. It feels like it's been a while since I've been in the kitchen and I'm doing this unscripted so this should be fun. This video is going to be a video game theme video because my very favorite video game franchise is coming out in April as a TV series on Amazon Prime and I have been waiting for this for a very long time. I'm very excited. I've only been actually playing video games for about 10 or so years. Uh, Fallout New Vegas was the video game that launched my love for video games. Mostly because the theme is post-apocalyptic and I love all things with that theme. And this one is in a role-playing survival game that is played on uh, several platforms. And a while back, uh, an old friend of mine gifted me this cookbook, which I have not used yet, even though I've had it for probably a good or five or six years. And so today I decided that I would make two recipes from this cookbook to celebrate the upcoming Fallout series on Amazon Prime. I asked my friends on Facebook what recipe that they thought would be interesting from this, and I gave them these two pages. And so from the dessert perspective, I'll be making spicy chocolate bundt cake, and then I'll be doing another video on making mole rat manicotti. So today we're gonna start with the chocolate bundt cake from the Fallout The Vault Dwellers official cookbook. I have some opinions that I'll probably share about this cookbook. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. Whenever I play Fallout and I'm cooking in the game, or I come across ingredients in the game, I'm always thinking up recipes that aren't in the game that would make more sense than I would have to say a lot of what's in this cookbook. But the recipes sound pretty good. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let's uh, nerd out on some Fallout and food. Okay, so for the first thing you want to do is check over the recipe. As you can see, this recipe is going to add plus one uh, intelligence in your specials for two hours. If you're not familiar with role-playing games and things like that, this might not be as interesting. If you have any questions, just drop it in the comment section below. Um, but I will be using some video game speak. I may even be including some video game footage from my gaming and some pictures of at least one of my camps from fallout 76 which is currently the iteration of fallout that i am playing even though four was good and 76 is good like i would have preferred a mashup between the two but that's a whole conversation for another day uh, about nerdy fallout uh, opinions anyway so the first thing that you want to do is look through your recipe, especially if it's going to be a novelty, a quote unquote novelty recipe like this is. So preheat your oven, get all of your ingredients together on the counter. This will make it much easier and make things feel less chaotic in the kitchen. If you always make sure that you go through the recipe, and you get all your ingredients and all your equipment together and then you do all your prep and then you start. Okay, so let's start throwing things in some bowls. I am gonna try to keep my energy level up. I just recently got over my first experience having COVID and so I don't know if you can tell in my voice, it's a little different and I'm also kind of tired right now. But the series is coming out soon and I wanted to make sure to get these videos out before the series starts. Okay, let's move these aside. So you're going to preheat the oven to 350 as I previously said. Spray a bundt pan with nonstick spray because I only have a small bundt pan that I actually want to use today. I do have a larger one but I didn't want to make a giant 
cake. And for any extra, I'm going to just be dropping it into a mini springform pan. Now, alternatively, instead of using a cooking spray, which I actually don't recommend, I just happen to have this on hand, I would go ahead and melt your fat of choice or put your fat of choice into a container and use a silicone brush to brush it. If you're using a springform pan, I recommend this method. Take some parchment paper and stretch it out just as much as you need. Slide it under there. Find the grippy edge. Press it down, lock it down, and then just tear or cut around. Make sure just to cut off of this little extra and then put any excess aside for use at another time so we're not doing any wasting. And then once you have it like that, you can, again, use a brush and some oil and brush it on. Or if you have cooking spray, use that. Make sure you shake your cooking spray. Now we'll set these aside. If any of your dry ingredients have lumps, just get a sieve and run it through a sieve to get rid of them. It will also uh, produce a lighter, fluffier cake. What I found weird about this recipe is specifically is it's not a food that's actually in the game that I can recall, or I haven't found this recipe though. I think I, I've been playing this game for six or seven years since it's pre-release. And I think I would remember the chocolate, spicy chocolate bundt cake, but that doesn't mean anything because I get into a total zone while I game. All right. In a bowl, combine the cocoa powder, the flour, the baking soda, the baking powder, cinnamon, cayenne pepper, and salt. I just wanted to say a little bit something about this brand of spices. I recently found this website uh, that had some good quality spices and they sell them all in these little sample bags, which are like a dollar or two dollars each. And if you don't use a lot of spices, and or you want to experiment with some spices but not pay a whole for a whole jar of it at the store or at your favorite spice place i highly recommend checking out this Celafina website i got a whole bunch of samples recently i'll be using another sample to garnish this cake at the very end so stick around to see uh, what i got to garnish it with all right dry ingredients now get set aside and we'll move on to the wet. Room temperature butter. Mine is not quite room temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in glass measuring cup. Make sure whatever you're putting uh, in the microwave is microwave safe. Some glass will explode in the microwave. And to get this just a little more soft in room temperature, I'm gonna take this to the microwave and zap it at about 10 or 15 intervals until it's soft enough for my liking. That was about 1 15 seconds. Combine the butter, sour cream, and sugar in a large bowl and mix until smooth. This is also called creaming. Once creamed, add the eggs and vanilla and then mix again to combine. That looks like it should be good. Next we're going to add half the dry ingredients into the bowl with the wet ingredients and then mix well. Now the writer of this uh, recipe is um, added some little things of interest to describe in the game like why she's making this video and so she's claiming that she found a case of cinnamon and cayenne in a vault storage and it was pretty far in the back which is why it lasted so long allegedly. Now if I was analyzing this recipe as far as like how legit it is for the fallout uh franchise like i said i don't remember having this recipe in 76 i don't remember many of the recipes from fallout 4 but this is an alleged recipe used by everybody in the annual vault bake-off it is a medium difficult recipe that says it needs 30 minutes of prep time one hour of cook it serves 8 to 16 slices and it pairs well with a cold glass of milk but if you're in Fallout, you know that that milk is going to be brahi milk. It's not going to be cow milk. And I'm going to say that brahi milk probably isn't as tasty as cow milk if you're into milk. I am not into milk. Should be fine with some almond milk. Ooh, I'm going to need a bigger bowl. So this says to add the buttermilk and continue to mix. So get it pretty well mixed together before you add the other half of the flour. I think that should be enough now that we have a bigger bowl. And then just put the last half of the flour in here. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some in also muffin or, or cupcake form. Now make sure that you don't fill this all the way up to the top because it will um, rise as it's baking because of the baking soda and the baking powder. So just make sure that you give it a little bit of a leeway along the top. Now, as I said, I have a little too much batter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some in cupcake form. Now, the thing you have to remember about this, if you're doing this all at once, you're gonna have to check on these within about 20, 25 minutes, because if you let these bake, as long as you let that bake or even that bake, they're gonna be dry AF. So I obviously suggest just going ahead and using a full-sized bunt pan. Like if you're doing smaller ones, start checking your smaller ones at 20 to 25 minutes, maybe this one at 30 to 35. And then like the recipe says, uh, 45 to 50, but I would start poking into this one a little earlier. Also, it's always best to err on the side of caution and set your timer for at least 10 minutes less than it suggests because all ovens are different. All right, that's gonna go in there. I'm gonna start, like I said, checking the uh, cupcake muffin ca uh, containers uh, in about 20 minutes. We'll see how that goes, but in the meantime, I'm gonna clean up and get ready to make that homemade pasta. We'll be right back. Hi, Miss Goose. Goosey, hi. Are you waiting for the cake? So it turns out that her recipe was really spot on for timing. So this took 45 to 50 minutes. These took about 30 minutes. And the other, the medium sized one took like 35, 40 minutes. So, you know, decrease it, you know your oven. Anyway, this is gonna be set aside now to cool for at least a couple hours. All right, now that the bun cake's done and cooled sufficiently, I'm gonna make the glaze, which involves two tablespoons of unsalted butter, a quarter cup of heavy cream, half a cup of confectioner's sugar, half a cup of dark chocolate chips, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I am, however, skipping the dark chocolate chips because I want a white glaze, not a chocolate glaze. Turn off the heat, cool for five minutes before pouring over the cake. I just took the manicotti that's for the next video out of the oven and now it is time to drizzle some powdered sugar uh, glaze over the bundt cake and then add my special garnish. Now my special garnish today is from a company I just mentioned in either this video or a previous video. It's Rose Petals, Celafina. Make it special. All right, I sliced off a bit. And now it's time to taste it. Mm. Well, that's a solid recipe for sure. The cayenne will come in in the back. <clears throat> it's very, very moist. Very, um, also delicate. Delicious. Maybe next time I would decrease the cinnamon even more. For this one, I did half of the amount, but I use a very fresh, very um, high quality cinnamon, which means it's much stronger than if you've had cinnamon in your cupboard for six months or a year. Man, that's good. I wanna thank my friend Danielle for picking this recipe. Good choice. You should totally make it. Mm. 
うんうんうんうん。Like if you know how to cook, nothing's gonna taste bad. It's chocolate cake. Spicy chocolate cake. I don't know how you could go wrong with it. Now, little cupcakes cooked for less time. I'd recommend, if it's just you or one other person, making them in smaller amounts and then wrapping them tight and putting them in the freezer because then one day, when you have a craving for chocolate cake, you don't have to go through all the work of making a new one. You can just pull it out of the freezer and let it come to room temperature or eat it frozen if that's what you want to do. I mean, that doesn't sound a terrible idea to me. And you can do anything you want as far as like the, the frosting or glaze or garnishes. But that is a delicious fallout recipe. Again, this is the book that it comes from. While I have some uh, opinions about the recipes in this book, I have to say that her, that spicy chocolate bun cake, solid, solid food. I've had a taste of some of the elements of the mole rat manicotti that's going to be the next video coming out. And uh, that's it's just amazingly delicious and I will be taste testing that in a minute. So I'm gonna let you go right now so that I can go and taste test that manicotti. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, tell your friends, leave me comments, find me on some social media. And as always, have a wonderful day. <laughs> Today, I am going to do a... Mm, mm. I'm doing this unscripted today, I don't know. Today, I'm gonna nerd out on some Fallout.